Hey guys, Rick Young here. I wanted to make a quick video on how to place an order from your from your uh, order screen on your MT4 app. Uh, I'm using an Android device, so for an iPhone it might be slightly different, right? So when you log into your MT, uh, MT4, um, this is it's going to take you to your your quote screen. What you want to do is two ways. One, you can either drag from left to right, and it'll open up this part, and then you go to the trade screen or you click on the trade arrow right at the very bottom here so again on an iPhone it might be a little bit different click on the arrow so here's where you have a your balance equity your free margin um, but this is where it's going to list all your your active orders and your pending orders <coughs> excuse me so how do I make an order how do I create an order you come up here and you click on this plus screen and it's going to come up to this screen right here now first of all Notice that I'm in AU, uh, AUD USD. If that is not the pair that you wanted, what you can do is click on here and then come and ch ch uh, choose a different pair. Okay? Just come over here and choose a different pair. Just like that. That simple. There you go. So on an Android device, again, it's a little bit different. It might be diff different on the iPhone, but the first thing you want to talk about is market execution. What does that mean? That means that I can execute this buy right now. Let, if I did a buy, a buy by market, it would it would purchase it at this price as soon as I press that button. Whatever the current price is, that's what it would press. Okay, it's an instant buy. Okay, um, this is your lot size. This is how you manage your lot sizes, or not manage but change. Okay, so you click on here, you'll add your 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 micro lots. Um, your mini lots and so on and so forth so you can just add and subtract however you deem necessary for your for your risk your style of risk management okay um, I am NOT a professional trader um, so I will not you know tell you how much to um, to your trade size or what your lot size should be so make sure that you uh, look at other videos from other people that that kind of talk about that typically though again it's a one to three percent per trade per pair. That's typical of, of the of what I've seen lot sizes going for. Now there's a lot of other people that are, you know, they have bigger accounts. They go pretty high. So it's up to them. So this right here, the red red screen right here, or the left if you're colorblind, because this is red and this is green here. <laughs> this is your um, your stop loss. Okay. So if you want to change your stop loss, you simply click in it and then you start typing. So let's say uh, I'm just going to put something here. I'm going to pretend I'm going to do a buy. So I'm going to do 134. I'm not going to actually place this just yet, but um, but I'm just typically showing you. Then you, this is this on this side right here is where you're going to do your take profit. So let's say I want to do 136.0. Again, this is just a, right now the current price is 135. Actually, I'm gonna make this. Now, this is a dummy account. Uh, I'll make this trade just so that you can see it. Um, so there we go. We're gonna do an instant ex execution or a market execution. We're gonna use a lot size of one, otherwise known as a trade size. My stop loss is gonna be here. My take profit is gonna be here. And then I'm gonna do a buy, all right? That's what I'm figuring out here. I'm going to do a buy. So I'm going to click buy by market. My order is open. It's placed. And there it goes. So now, as you see, it is in the in the negative here. And I might even actually earn some money while we're watching here. <laughs> um, so here is a position that is currently activated. How do I know it's activated? This will either turn red or blue. Red being deficit, blue being in the positive. So I'm actually earning money. There you go. I'm one set ahead. All right. Um, so let's say I want to I want to do another one, but this time I want to do a different type. So if I click in this section right here, I can I can change to buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop. And, and again, guys, you you'll have to look at different videos from. You know, there's a bunch of videos out there that actually determine this. But if you're being given this information, all you simply do is is select you know whatever is appropriate. So in this case, I'm going to do buy limit. All right, and again, I just want to show you. Um, let's see. Now I'm gonna do. Yeah, 
buy limit. All right. So here, if people tell you to um, the buy limit, I'm going to change my lot size just like just like normal. Okay. And then I'm going to enter a price. So buy limit would be boom. Okay. So I'm I'm going to say one thirty four zero zero zero. All right. And then I'm going to have a stop loss. Notice, uh, and I'll go over this in a minute. So my stop loss will be one um, thirty three. This is a very big one. Let me see. One, one thirty-three point nine one zero. Um, nine zero. And my take profit is going to be one thirty-four point zero two five. That's good enough. All right. So this is a valid. This is a valid trade. The reason why I'm saying this is a valid trade for a buy limit is because the word placed is in black. If this was not a valid trade, uh, trade, which means the numbers match up, the numbers are good according to the what the market is right now. If it was not valid, if any of these numbers were not correct, this would be grayed out and would not make it, allow you to place that place that um, trade. But for now, let's keep going. I'm going to place this trade. It's open, click done. Now, because this is not activated, it's called, it goes under the orders list. So once it hits 134 even, where this is where it's at now, but once it hurts 130, once it hits 134 even, then it will activate this and move up into underneath the positions one. And it will show you a red or blue as a status, all right? So that's how you place, that's how you place orders from the order screen. I hope this helps guys.